This tutorial will cover the setup of a Canon DSLR with Snapshot Studio Pro and Snapshot Studio Standard Editions. We're running Windows 7 for our demo today, but you can use uh, Windows 8, uh, Windows Vista 32, or Mac OS. The setup is essentially identical. The first thing we want to do with our camera is we want to make a few adjustments on the camera itself. We want to jump into uh, the, uh, the camera menu and make sure our review time is turned off. Uh, we want to make sure our live view is enabled. We want to set our AF, AF mode to quick mode. We don't want to use uh, live face tracking or live mode. Um, both of these options will uh, raise the risk of autofocus failure, so make sure that you use quick mode if you're using uh, AF with your setup. You want to make sure you have a media card uh, in the camera. Um, a note about your media card, uh, you want to try to keep your media cards as clean as possible. Uh, the initialization of the camera when you plug it in and power it up, uh, the more pictures that you have on your card, the longer it will take for your camera to initialize because it will read through every single photo and uh, will keep the camera from being ready until it goes through the entire uh, catalog of photos on your card. So try to uh, keep your cards clean, if at all possible. Uh, the image format you want to use is JPEG. Uh, you can't use RAW or RAW plus JPEG files uh, with Snapshot Studio or Snapshot Studio, uh, Snapshot Studio Professional or Snapshot Studio Standard. Uh, and lastly, uh, you want to make sure that your, um, your timeouts um, auto power off, a live view timeout, things like that are set to their maximum values or turned off completely. You don't want your camera sitting idle and then powering down on you in the middle of a session. So with those items set, plug in your camera, uh, turn it on, and uh, launch your Snapshot Studio Pro or standard version. Uh, and in the setup window, let's click on the DSLR camera control option. Okay, and we have our live view engaged. We have our basic stats on our photos. Uh, we have our live view mirror, which you'll want to use live view mirroring uh, to, uh, to aid your, your guests. It's uh, far more natural for them uh, when seeing the mirror feed come back off of the screen. Uh, so we have our shooting mode to movie mode. Now I'm going to divert just for a, a moment to talk about shooting a video with Snapshot Studio. If you have a uh, Canon DSLR uh, that has the movie mode on its uh, top dial, uh, if you want to shoot stills and movies, you want to make sure that you set your camera uh, to this movie mode by uh, moving the dial. Uh, this video capture checkbox will appear. And if we click it, it allows us to set the recording time. Uh, the countdown timer uh, allows us to uh, give our users an option to retake the video. And uh, it gives us a, uh, a, the option of a saved location. So I'm just going to have it create a saved location for us. And I'm just going to click OK. OK. Um, if you're using a uh, Canon uh, DSLR uh, like the uh, uh, the 5D Mark II, uh, you have to basically go into the menu and set up uh, the uh, still in video option within the camera. Um, once that is set, uh, your video capture uh, button will uh, will enable, and you should be able to capture video and stills. Okay, for your live view timeout, typically you want to set at a reasonable rate. Your default on most Canons, if not all, is around 30 minutes. 
So to be safe, I'll set our live view timeout to 28 minutes. The reason why you want to set the live view timeout uh, in Snapshot Studio is because uh, it's better for the application to time out the live view for you rather than having your camera just fall off because what will end up happening is you'll have a user come by and uh, want to uh, do a session and basically you may lose live view for that one particular session uh, because the camera timed out and the software could not recover the live view for that particular session. So let's go ahead and do a, a test capture. And there we go. What I'm actually going to do is, um, let's power down the live view. And I'm going to switch our mode to program. So we're not going to capture video in this particular video. So there we go, we're in program mode, engage live view. There we go, a little nicer. And I'll select delete photos on card um, because I have uh, no need for my photos to be saved both on my computer as well as my, my card, uh, my media card. Uh, but that's an option that uh, that's up to you. So with that, let's click done. We have the ready message delay, which basically the ready message delay uh, gives you a certain amount of seconds from the time that the uh, session uh, begins uh, to the countdown. So if you need a little more time for your users to get themselves oriented after uh, selecting or, or beginning the session, uh, use the ready message delay uh, to give them a few extra seconds. Uh, your countdown timer is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, it counts back from a from a certain number uh, down to zero or, or smile, if you will. Um, we have a session from launch, which basically, if you have your booth set up, you can check session from launch, uh, where Snapshot Studio will jump right into your photo session uh, straight from, uh, from its launch, and auto start from selection which we'll get back to this in a moment, but uh, auto start from selection, basically if you have more than one layout, auto start from selection will only require your user to select the layout once. Okay, so there we go. Um, with, the, with the auto start uh, from launch, it bypassed our start screen, so we're right into our welcome screen. We only get the welcome screen when we have uh, two or more um, layouts available. So we'll go right ahead and jump in and there is our subject and countdown and our photo. Uh, quite a bit overexposed. Nonetheless. Okay, now I'll give you a preview of what auto start from selection does. Okay, now we're in our welcome screen. And before we had to choose our layout and then subsequently click again to begin our session. Uh, with, the, um, uh, with the auto start from selection, basically we click once. We choose our layout and we're already in our session and there goes the picture we didn't have to click to begin the session I'll do that one more time with the three so we'll select the strip and as soon as the capture screen comes up the session begins and again this is something where you could utilize the uh, ready message delay where you can give uh, an additional three to five seconds uh, for your users to better position themselves without having to, you know, uh, come up and uh, click your uh, or tap the screen or press a button or however you have your setup. 
So that's uh, what the uh, the auto start from selection, and I'll go through uh, the uh, session from launch real quickly. So we'll go ahead and launch Snapshot Studio Cold. We still have our camera plugged in and ready to go, which is essential if you have auto start from launch. And we'll just go in and select. And there we go. And again, this is um, a, uh, a Canon T3i uh, that we're using for our demo. Um, most cameras, uh, most Canon cameras uh, will work uh, with uh, Snapshot Studio. We have a complete listing on our website at alanchristopher.com slash photo dash booth dot html. Uh, lastly, let's go to the live view capture message. Now, if you're in a situation where you want to direct your users to look up at the camera, if your screen is below, in this case, we can do that as well. So right before the picture is taken, we have look up at the camera. Picture is taken. And an important note, uh, we have uh, two states. We have a... Uh, an up arrow and a down arrow. Uh, you could do message left, message right, diagonally, however you want to do it, or edit uh, the, the look and feel of the message itself. All of that can be done in the uh, user theme, uh, but we've provided the basic up and down uh, arrow messages for, uh, uh, for your convenience.